the struggle to overcome intolerance, the campaign to protect our environment, the plight of the homeless. Hi, I'm Corey Coffin, and welcome to Community Voices, where student filmmakers take on untold stories. The following documentaries are from the Dodge College of Film and Media Arts at Chapman University in Orange, California. In the Community Voices program, students partner with local nonprofit organizations to create stories about compelling social issues. Community Voices will take you on a journey as we give a voice to those who might otherwise remain unheard. What is it like to be labeled as different? In Hold My Hand, experience the daily challenges Eliza faces as a brave young woman struggling with, living with, thriving with Down syndrome. Not willing to succumb to socially imposed limits, Eliza fights to attend college and prove that she's not that different. Okay, I'm talking. Hello? <laughs> hey, it's me. Hi, Eliza. How's it going? Okay. Okay, so you can turn it around and face you. Look at the lens. What? Flip oh, the camera my. over. Oh, right. And it's then everywhere. put it right at your face and talk. I don't want to talk. Oh, well, don't talk. Here, now we're seeing your shirt. Hold it way away from you. Now point it toward your face. Okay, Smokey. Meow. 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 So, so talk to the camera and tell the camera about Smokey. Hey, Smokey, it's me. Smokey. Smokey, hello. Kitty. She says, what's going on? What's going on? Am I on movies? Smokey is my cat, and I like playing with her. Okay. Oh, there you are. Ram. Ram. Did you turn the button off or is it still on? It's, oh, it's still on. on. Get up, Abby. 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 Get up,
Eric, it's your turn to bounce. You get up and bounce. Let Blue Bear sit while you bounce. I want me down. No, Eliza's turn. Let's all watch Eliza. Okay, Eliza, show us your stuff. Here, sit down, Isaac. Eliza, I'll hold Blue Bear. Oh, you want to jump with him? Okay. at the Ashland Art Center, the Ashland. Yeah. And this is some of my stuff that I'm working on. So here's the two pot that I'm working on. Yeah, here's the two pot that I'm about to glaze. And the duck. Can you back it up? Yeah, okay. And another duck. And some more. And the scenery. Like that okay, I'm thinking, can you rinse that off now and we'll stir it up the other one. I think you've got that one. So kind of shake it and then bring it over here to the sink. And you can rinse that off in the sink. There you go, and just rinse it off in there. Is that why we won't mix up Allie's glazes? Um, I like to present. Say that again. I like to present. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, are you ready? So, why don't you set that aside then for a minute? Okay. Hi, uh, sorry. Uh, hi, uh, Mom, help me. You're good. Uh, retainer. Don't think that uh, <laughs> hi, uh, my name, uh, hi, uh. You want to hold it up? Mm. Is that how um, I cannot in, in not see it. Hold it. Um, hi, um, m uh, mom, help me. Mm -hmm. uh, mom, I can't read it. Yeah, I can. It's all fine. Uh, um, hi, uh, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, in, um, um, in case. You didn't? No, in, no, sorry. Sorry if I'm going too fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, 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 in case you didn't know, I had Down syndrome. In some ways, it makes me different from other people, which I think is interesting. In a lot, I am the same as you. Um, I like who I am, and I like playing with my friends. I can see myself. I'm going to get that. All up in her hair, you want to do solid color on all of it? Or do you want to mix it up? So like if you put it near the bottom, it's going to run onto the kiln shelf, I think. So keep that glaze like towards the top. You don't like me, or do you <laughs> like me in the class? I liked you in the class. Oh. I thought it was good. Changed my life. Why? Why did it change my life? Yeah, why? Because I had never met someone like you. Oh. And I didn't know uh, what reality what your life would be like. That one goes in the trash. In the trash. No, that's a match and it's already burned. Here, hand it to mom. That's a boom? Yep. Go ahead and put them in the cold storage room. Don't shake them or they'll fall out. Put them up on the shelf. No, Will they fall at school? Yeah. Yeah, well, and so they don't fall here on the floor. You need to put them up in the cold storage room on the shelf. Close the box. Nope, 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 nope. Yep. Okay, put them up. Um, 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 no, mom, um, 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 um,
Okay. Thank you, Miss Eliza. Okay, come on out and close the door. different in different ways. I brought my life back. I can't believe that I'm the only one who has to be a part of this situation. I'm aggravated. Why is it? Why is that twenty? Me? You know, not a twenty whole girl like me, like me. Why is that too a different? It's because I have Down syndrome. You can include people or you can exclude people. And exclude people is what's happened to you, where they say, no, you can't be a student. And well, in, I, am. I know, and including means that they could they say to you, yes, we want you to be a student. So yeah, well, they said that before. Well, you know, we've had this discussion about you being the pioneer, and you're one of the... First, well, you are the first kid, I think, the first um, person with Down syndrome who's asked to go to SOU. And I think that some people just aren't sure what to make of that. So what's the matter with that? You know, sometimes adults have a way of handling things that is not the best. <laughs> Mm. Uh, oh, did they actually see you in that class? They didn't see me in the class. Mm. 
Need some They're makeup awesome. there, Eliza. Need this some makeup. So fun. Turn it up. I think you can do it through your phone. Try that. Okay. 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 Do a do a test. All right. Need a glass of wine. is the modern man. Can he be a dancer? On the wooden floor, this modern man finds a way to express himself, to be whoever he wants to be, leaving the outside world behind. Pushing past the stigma of being a male dancer, he finds the strength to overcome obstacles that face him on the wooden floor and beyond. Every time I walk through the studio door, I feel that everything has been left behind. You're just concentrating on the dance movement. On the wooden floor, I can be whoever I want to be. subject. The challenges are when dancers are in the genre of 
ballet or contemporary dance or those kind of more serious art forms where it's not as usual to see young men involved in. Just being a male dancer, that's hard enough already. People don't understand that dance isn't just for girls. Um, dance can be for anyone. People that judge me like for being a dancer, they don't know the other side of me. When I was younger, I really didn't tell anyone that I was a dancer. I didn't want them to know that I danced because I feared that they would make fun of me. I'd just tell them that I would go to a football practice, which is like completely different from dance. We just struggled a lot. Like My mom had two jobs. She had to work, and it was hard not seeing her. La maestra de él de tercer año me dijo que fuera al The Warren Floor, que era muy bien para él. Y yo le dije que era una oportunidad que él tenía y que nada más, no era, eran puras niñas, que iban niños también. Entonces él como que no quería, pero después sí, le dije ve y después si no te gusta te sales. Pero le gustó y hasta ahorita está ahí. <risa> It was hard not having my dad with me since um, he left us. You know, we struggled without him. Like, I don't feel that he has ruined my life, but I just feel that he has done things that shouldn't be done. Like, he like shouldn't have left us in the first place. He shouldn't have, you know, like hit my mom because he did. And I just feel that that really doesn't deserve my respect. It's sad like to know that your father just has this other family and knowing that you were his second child, it just it hurts but it's reality and like I know I have to deal with it. Dance has helped me let go of all that anger that I had towards him. I just feel that dance has helped me move on with that chapter of my life and gone to something different, something more important, like college. Whoa. 
no one really went to college in my family well since it's just my sister and I like we didn't really think about it but then um, my mom just encouraged us to stay in school and to study hard and to go to college right here is Hornby sorry it's his key and right back there is Hornby Hornby and his key are both to our home well his key is My name is Elisha Creighton, and I am an admissions counselor here. This spring, um, not only am I going to graduate with um, my high school diploma, but I'll also have my associate's degree. So I'll have two years of college done. I would never give up dance for anything in the world. Dance has given so much to me, and it has gave me power or strength to overcome the obstacles that I face. The Community Voices documentaries are made possible by the Daunt Family Foundation. Funding for this program is provided by Chapman University.